What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow playing some more Farming Simulator 22. We're back on Westby, Wisconsin. Let's get to it. Hello. 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 Stream what? Er, stream. <laughs> Trent, what are you on about? I did your little donate thing and. Did you? Like... I don't. It may maybe log into PayPal too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Um, right. So, chat, I will say really fast. Um, something happened to our farmhouse last night. Um, our farmhouse has ceased to exist. And I don't know what happened to it. Here's our doormat. Our boy, what's going on? Um, the house is gone. This weird collision thing that was here is gone. Um, um, this wall that was here to separate the manure and the, the slurry, that's gone. I'm kind of scared, chat. Uh, we have no power to this farm anymore. So I hope we have a generator for our uh, tractor or something, right? That's the RP anyway, right? Uh, that house is gone. And wait for it. I guess that's close enough. Um, but, 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 but there's another house down here missing too. I don't know what happened, chat. They're just kind of weird, right? Well, I have a feeling the 1.5 million loan out might have something to do with. They kind of cover their costs, you know. 1.5 million dollar loan. What? Yeah. Who has that? We do. Why? I don't know. Oh, like uh -huh. taking... Oh, yeah. No, that's from the other day. Yeah, I remember that. I did that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Fire Shadow, you know what, man? Uh, it might have been a tornado because it didn't hurt our farm. Took this house out and didn't take off that... Sh you know what? It could have been. It could have been fire. It took the mailbox out here, too. <laughs> Not the mailbox. How long oh. am I mail? And all the fences have been cleaned up as well. And actually, they didn't respawn, right? Not that I could tell any. Okay. So all the fences have been cleaned up, too. Somebody, 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 somebody is a expert when it comes to the Giants editor. It might be me. It might be me. Queen Sentinel, what's going on? How you doing today? Tony! What's up? Hey, that thing that's going on uh, that we've talked a lot about, like yesterday, mm -hmm. we're not talking about today, okay? Okay. All right. So, what are we? Uh, what are we actually up to on the map? All the soybeans have been finished, right? No. We mean no. We got the ones over here. Well, all of the ripe soybeans have been finished, right? Let me rephrase my comment. Sorry. Um, there might be a little pile of of chaff here to be made into silage it is bunker or blanketed uh storms just did that so it's a zero percent but there was over a million liters adam what's going on how you doing today um so it looks like if we fast time a day we'll have field 40 ready to harvest is everybody on board for that uh situation yes no maybe so and work sounds all right let it, let it eat huh I don't know if Storms is here right now, actually. Oh, John, I should have went through, at least on the stream element side. Well, I... I don't know. I don't... I don't have, I have nothing. I don't know. No? I don't know. Hey, boo-boo. I mean, we know what? that... Link works because you know left it the other day. It's the link I clicked. I don't know what to tell you. And it went to the stream elements thing, huh? For uh, boom yeah. pile with your Christmas lights okay. in the background. Yeah, that's, that's right on. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I don't know what to tell you. It might just take like an hour. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're going to be fast-timing and doing some uh, soybean harvest, I guess, huh? 
some more soybean harvest. How much are we up to, actually, by the way? We are up to 358,000 soybeans. So we've had to... No, I guess we haven't. We're still putting them in the same bin, huh? Yeah. Yes, I, I say, did not. Tony, you did about pretty much all that bean harvesting, or a bunch of it, right? I didn't... I don't... Yeah, I didn't... I don't think I put any over there. Like, the star of the place we Yeah. This map gets really dark. It's obnoxiously dark, isn't it? I do like the one light over our silage bunkers over here. I don't know why it cracks me up. Yeah, it's very, very, very dark. All right, we're going to try to not run over too many beans on our way out of here. But that's all right. All right. I got a, I got a question for you there. Yeah, what's up? Boss man. What's up? So over, over here where that cornfield was. Oh, I thought you were going to ask me how much I paid for the new guy. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Not, not, not enough. Do you want to combine that with this 66 field or? No, 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 no. Leave it separate. Yeah, because we don't own that uh, part like that's north of 67 there. Like that orange, that's grass, right? Oh, I see. If we part. own that, maybe we would. Yeah, we'd probably plow it together then, but we don't own that. Yeah, if you if you want to, that needs plowed, right? Yeah. Do you want me to work on that or run a combine with you or? I don't care what you do. You can course play that if you want. The uh, plow. I don't care what you do. You do whatever you want to do. How about that? It's a scary thing to just tell them. Like, yeah, do whatever you want. You're good. Go. Come on. Get it done. Tony's going to go cut down all the trees or something weird. Right? No. Hey, please don't do that. Please don't do that. So sad news, Tony. My tractor's out of commission. What happened? Well, you know, remember the other day, last time you were down, and I said something about it having an oil leak? Yeah. Yeah, I went to fix that oil leak, but the problem is to do that, I have to take the oil filter, like the ba the thing that holds the oil oil filter. I have to take that off the tractor, right? Okay. So there's three holes basically in this thing. You have two bolt holes, and then you have like the hole where the oil flows back into the engine, just runs down through the block, like after it's been filtered, right? And uh, yeah, those holes were just like weeping with oil all day yesterday. I couldn't get the oil to stop, right? Oh. And we're using a uh, silicone sealant uh, called RTV. To, to replace the actual gasket that should be there because it obviously didn't work. Although when I took things apart yesterday, I think the gasket was fine. Uh, the front bolt was about to fall out. So I don't know if like some Loctite's in order, probably. But uh, yeah, so basically if you run the tractor right now, it's just going to start shooting oil everywhere because the oil filter's all unplugged, basically. So, so gotcha. don't run my tractor, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> gonna have zero oil pressure and it's gonna shoot oil everywhere. But we did get the lights like kind of wired up yesterday. Like the headlights, you know? Mm -hmm. You maybe have to touch a wire to the battery right now to like, you know, turn them on. But the front part's wired, you know? Like they're wired together and yeah. Hello? This guy. All right, so what are you doing, Tony? You, oh, you horse played him, huh? All right. Yeah, I'm on my way up to you. All right, all good. But, like, do you know where it's leaking oil from? Just somewhere where that... Basically, that piece just bolts on the side of the engine block and just somewhere right there. So it could have been leaking out of, like, the... Uh, like, the, the loose bolt hole. Or it could have been, like, I don't know, somewhere in there. That gasket obviously just had a failure. So, that maybe not a, quite enough gasket shellac, maybe? I don't know what the uh, what the actual issue was there. But it could have just been the loose bolt, too, you know? But basically, I took it apart, and I, like, got rid of the gasket and used my pocket knife to clean both surfaces up real good. 
but I just couldn't get the oil to stop like oozing out of there and you gotta put that RTV on there and let it set up for a few minutes before you uh, like smash both pieces together you know so it, there can't be oil running out of the engine block when I'm trying to RTV it basically so which basically just means no plowing on Sunday pretty much what that means it's kind of sad right No, I'm just I'm just thinking like that song that's been making its way around, you know, the internet. Like, it's darn shame what the world's gotten to. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can't even plow anymore, man. Well, I I, well, so the the thought would be to get the tractor, you know, get that piece back on there Sunday, and then you need to let it dry. I think for 24 hours. So you know, we're looking at Monday at the earliest. So. Maybe Wednesday we'll try try doing some. Uh, I kind of want to stick Dad on the tractor and then like, I'll make adjustments, you know. <laughs> Although it is really handy to have you like drive the tractor and the Dad and I can both like make adjustments, you know. Very very handy. I try to be helpful. Is <laughs> you know we're looking at the calendar going, man. We got to get our ride planted here next like. Probably two weeks, right? So if we're gonna like finish plowing that strip over there, we gotta get after it, or we gotta get like old tetanus on wheels out and kind of work it up or something. Yeah. We gotta have some loose dirt to plant our rye, you know. So. But that's gotta happen here soon, you know. Bak Bak, what's going on? How you doing today? Welcome in. Popping. So it's a whole thing, man. Definitely a whole thing. All right, so this field is actually like way bigger than uh, one might think, right? This field and man, these wait—that's grass. A bunch of that's grass. Hold on. Okay, field's not as bad as you think, but still, it's a good sized field. But that's all right. We'll get it done. We always do, right? Until we don't, and then it just kind of happens. But that's all right. I do have... Who else is in the combine? Tony? That's me. All right. I do have a north-south GPS uh, going, but I'm obviously not running it yet. All right. All in due time. That's, oh, these are actually yielding okay over here, too. I'm getting some greens. Hey, Bab. Happy about that. You should come down on riot plant day, Tony. You've never been there for that, have you? I don't think so, no. Oh, man, that's a fun day. Depends how we do it, because we've kind of tried a few different methods to, like, actually seed rye. Mm -hmm. I think last year we ended up using uh, tetanus on wheels to kind of work it in. <laughs> Uh, just like, you know, set it real shallow with our stops. Yeah. What's up, White Raven? What's your question? Feel free to ask away. As long as it's, you know, appropriate. Or something. What is a good square bale pickup trailer? Are you talking about like a mod or like just in the game, like base game? What are my favorite old timey mods, uh, Big Oz? Um, I really dig a bunch of the old tractors that we have. You know, the, the John Deere like 5030, even though it has a shifting problem. Uh, even Tony's uh, 1086. Uh, that's a good one, you know. Uh, that's 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 a cool tractor. I mean, it has the shifting problem too, but that's all right. Xbox can have mods there, White Raven. There's a thing in the main menu. It's called downloadable content, and there are mods in there. Uh, but if you're a base game, and I'm going to assume possibly that you have uh, square bales. Uh, you'd want like, you know, 
uh, this guy right here. This does square bales. That's the symbol for square bales. And this would be what you'd want to accumulate 14 bales at a time. So, that'll do the big squares. 14 at a time. Yeah, so White Ravens just got farmed some yesterday. Uh, very new, obviously. Has played some uh, back in the day. But has not played any 22. So we'll all be conscious of that when questions come in, okay? Chat. Just saying. Need to get a loan. Yep, taking a loan is a very important thing in this game. It's in your... Uh, I like call it the escape menu. You're in console. I just the start menu or whatever. Go down and see the uh, dollar sign with the circle around it. And then uh, behind where I'm sitting, there's a borrow. Whatever button it says it is on console. I'm not sure. On a controller, I should say. We need to prune these trees, guys. Oh, as I literally run into a tree. Oh, man. You can also lease equipment. You do not have to purchase equipment. You can also, uh, you can also lease, um, equipment. Thank you. Uh, Storms. Hi, Storms. Hi. So, you do not have to purchase stuff. You can lease it for the time you're going to use it. It will charge you, like, based on the hour and stuff, but it's all good. We do like questions, Fire Shadow, yeah. Going to raise a sheep. Nice. Thinking after your uh, grandparents there, huh? <laughs> Just saying. Arms, this field's kind of big. Yeah, it's got a little uh, heft to it. Yeah. Yeah, you betcha. Especially when I first looked at it on the map and I had, like, grass active. And I was like, holy Toledo. But it wasn't, uh... Not as bad as it could be, right? Do you want to end up plowing these together, or what's the... Eventually, I think this is just going to be one big field over here, yeah. Sheep are easier than cows, especially in the farm sim area. Go betcha. I would say we'll plow this together, but, you know, this was free crop over here. Uh, the only thing we should have done with this, but we didn't lime it. But that's okay. Crab Gunner, what's going on? How you doing today? Uh, that's what they are in Farm Sim. They are, uh, they have wool. You'll have to, if you have sheep in Farm Sim, uh, pallets of wool will spawn when you, when you feed the sheep, that is. Uh, pallets will spawn and you'll have to haul those away to, to sell. Uh, Crab Gunner, I'm doing well. Doing well. Oh, Tony, apparently we're getting uh, barbecued tonight. Okay. And my sisters, I know you're you're down for that, right? <laughs> Are you coming over? I mean... <laughs> Just show up. Just roll up. <laughs> yes, they. it is the same from other farm sims, yep. Tony should totally just roll up. Oh, hey, you know what I see that needs to be deleted off this map? Yep. <laughs> I see drain tile inlets that need to be eliminated. Just going to show up. All right, White Raven. That would be interesting. free food uh so these are old mods yes these are old school tr99 i don't know what year the tr99 came out but uh we are definitely running older equipment on this map yes you're thinking what i'm thinking well i mean the drain tile inlet gives the map character right but at the same time, I know how to delete that now. So. Y'all, y'all, I don't know who this y'all is uh, directed at, but y'all might have created a monster with this giant editor, okay? Yeah. 
don't even know where I Welcome? Uh, that is true. White Raven doesn't know where I live. And we're not... Hey, we're having a little party at my sister's house tonight, not my house. Actually, Storms, it's your fault. You're the one that sent me the file because I couldn't get it to work, remember? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Storms. All Storms' fault. That's fine. I'm okay with it. That's okay because we don't have houses in our way now. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Can I open up uh, Elm Creek and delete that stupid house next to the homestead that you can never get rid of just to delete it? Like, if no Maybe. other reason, it's just annoying, you know? Possibly. <laughs> we love creating monsters as well. Wow. All right. Oh, we probably, I probably could open. I assume you could do that, right? Uh, well. You'd have to somehow get, like, Elm Creek out of the, like, the base game, right? Yeah. I know there's ways to do it. I mean, everybody, like, there's a lot of edits of Elm Creek out there. Just have to like figure it out. Watch a YouTube video and become an expert. That's really what would happen. Or something like that. That's all right. Steam would be annoying with the game files. Could be no different than like Stevie having like 4X Elm Creek. I'm sure he started with Elm Creek and just, you know. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like. I'm not interested in like doing that. I'm not interested in playing Elm Creek again. You know, at least not right now. I do love that map though. Yeah, yeah, Fire Shadow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My point is, he would have started with the regular map and then like went from there. You know. Yeah, because I, you're not gonna. He's not gonna like recreate Elm Creek, and then uh, you just start with Elm Creek and you go from there. But yeah, that house is definitely gone in his uh, the four X. Yeah, which is good. That house should be burned down or something like that. Tony, remind me to tell you a story my pops told me yesterday. Okay, uh, off stream. Okay. Like, are you going to be around for football? Uh, I think so. Are you ready for some football? I don't think I have anything to do tonight. Alright, let it. I mean, I could probably, you know, find stuff to do. But... Gross. How dare you. <laughs> I mean, you're going to roll with my sister's ass, right? <laughs> Come get I'll you some watch, barbecue. Or watch football there. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I should... I should be like, hey, can I get on the network? And then just start streaming the game from Twitch onto their TV. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Like, don't ask permission either. Just start, like, you know. They got, like, a Chromecast. So if you're on the Wi-Fi, you can, uh, you can stream to it, you know? That would be, uh, that would be something I would do. Usually the anything like when family gets together, we end up watching just like dumb YouTube videos. So, you know, a football games probably better than dumb random YouTube videos, right? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, Lions, you know? Lions are in tonight. Same. I'm here for it. Or something. Well, I mean, I'll be here eventually for it. I'm, I'm not going to be here for the beginning of it. So, yeah. Do you do you want me to cut us a, a second, like, in row along this waterway? Or you don't. Just, you don't have to. You're you're fine. Do whatever you want. You want to keep cutting over there? I was trying to like. I'm thinking like how can we square the field up as much as possible? So if I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna do lands on this section I'm on here just to get rid of it. Okay. You know what I mean? I can keep working on this then. Yeah, you're good. 
I wouldn't say offensive YouTube videos, but dumb, definitely. Like, uh... And that wasn't even a dumb video. We got watching these, uh... I think they're put out by OSHA. Like, the, the workplace safety people here in America, you know? But they, they basically look at, like, a an accident that happened in the workplace. And they... It, it's basically after, like, a full investigation has happened and, like, all that. And then they kind of, like, they'll even, like, uh, like, uh, make, like, animations of, like, what happened. So, for instance, there was a, a cardboard, I think it was a like, cardboard, uh, like, they dyed cardboard or made cardboard or something here in St. Louis. And they had this boiler that blew up years ago it killed a couple people like it was it's shot out of the building like a rocket and like killed somebody in an office that landed in like a couple doors down and like they had this whole video about it and like all of us just sat there and like just stared at it for like half an hour it was great that one day but yeah farmer great what's up oh my god wait grav gunner you seen the german it's klaus not hans klaus with the forklift video Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that video. That's one of my favorite videos on the internet. <laughs> that is one of my favorite videos on the internet. I love that video. Um, my dad used to show that to new hires where he works as a quote forklift safety video. You'd be like, hey, come here, you gotta watch this video to, before you can drive the forklift. It's the best, worst video ever. Actually, that was one of the first videos that we ever, like, showed at, like, a family function. Way, way, way back in the day, I can remember, we had a hundred foot long S video cable. Okay, yeah, who remembers S video, you know? And we ran that from our computer to our TV. And we had, a, I think it was a Thanksgiving here at my house. And we showed that and we showed, um, or maybe it was a Christmas. It might have been a Christmas Eve or Christmas night. But the the very first video of the uh, the people that were synchronizing their Christmas lights to music. It was the, um, I can think of the name of the song, but I can't think of the name of the song. What's the name of the, It's from uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Wizards of Winter. Yeah, that one. And it was like the first guy that did that. I can remember showing that to like my cousins and my aunt and uncle. And my grandma. And my, my other aunt. They were all here for Christmas or something. But anyway. S video cable, baby. 100 footer. Anyway. I don't think S video did audio, did it? Wasn't it just video? Uh -uh. I don't remember. I don't remember how we did audio. Maybe, well, I know at one time, like, the computer was in our living room on one end, like, the... I don't know why we had a 100-foot cable. It was, like, 25 feet apart. Our living room's not that big. But we had a 100-foot cable for some reason. Actually, I remember running it from first time's computer up to the... Torch Gaming 124 just subscribed. Torch Gaming uh, 124, thanks for that brand new subscription. How's it going? Welcome to the Plow Team. Enjoy your chat badge and your emotes. Welcome in. What's poppin'? How's it going? Uh, isn't something like, aren't subs like super cheap like today? Like yesterday and today or something? Aren't they on sale? Month. Yeah, but I think they're extra on sale right now. Oh, I don't know. Or is it gift subs? Is it gift subs? I, I don't know. I don't know. I know I was watching somebody yesterday that had a huge, huge sub goal because sub like gift subs were really cheap. I think that's what it was. So apparently, if you if you do a six month sub right now, it's thirty percent off. That's incredible. That is incredible. Okay, so wait, twenty seventh. Two. Maybe that's already gone. I don't know. There was an extra 25% off on gift subs. 
I don't know what's up with that. Though. I don't know. I don't know why they can't just say, like, hey, it's September and this is what it's going to be for the whole month. And not, like, hey, you're getting extra on this day, but, like, not everybody streams on that day. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I just wish Twitch would bring back the, uh, remember the emote events they they used to do? Where, like, if you did bits or subs, you could, like, unlock emotes, and then you would unlock them for, like, other people in the chat, too. They might remember those days. Those were fun. Those were fun. And, like, because everybody could participate. Like, even if you couldn't, like, do bits and stuff. Because, you know, if, sub, if I donated, you know... A thousand bits I would unlock an emote for me and then like five others so it was like a way to like it was it was cool it was a really cool like community uh, type thing but anyway that's I remember those days I'm old remember chat <laughs> oh man you remember everything since 2014 everything wow I, there's a lot of things i've forgotten since then make twitch great again right right fire all right so i see storms you've acquired a combine yes okay so tony tony's got the auger wagon over by him Correct. okay and then we've got trucks all right that's cool I mean, low yield means we can harvest for days. Definitely. I agree. Twitch has gone downhill in some, some aspects, yeah. You betcha. Prices on, oh. Interesting, Fire Shadow. Interesting. I'm curious now. Am I end of the world old? I'm okay. I'm not old. I don't really, really think that I'm old. I'm 36 years old. I know I'm not old, you know, but like some days, but as far as like making content on the internet, I'm like approaching 11 years here before too much longer, you know? And like, that's, that's a long time, you know? So in that aspect, it's like, I'm the old man of the internet. Just a young pup. Well, at least you didn't say I'm just a small town girl. Is this small town? Is, yeah, yeah. 36 is old. You're ancient at 37, okay. Born and raised in South Detroit. Midnight train. Okay, I'm done. Going any. Okay, I'm done. Really done this time. How do I get to my own like stream on my phone? <laughs> Is that bad? I don't want my stream manager. I I don't want to edit my info. I just want to click on my stream. Hello. <laughs> Why do they have to make it so difficult, chat? Tony, how do I do this? Well, I just go to like my following and then probably you're there. But I don't follow myself. You can't do that. Can't you just search for yourself then? I mean, I see my stream. I just can't like, I can't click on it to like open it. Are you logged in as yourself? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Oh, let me log in as my alt account. Definitely not John from Pumaplo. That should be my alt account. Oh, turn the sound down. All right, cool. We're here. Yep, my sound account or my sound should be or my 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 alt Twitch account should be definitely not John from Puma Plow. All Twenty nine and people roast you like you're fifty plus. Oh man! Wow. <laughs> no so that's why i say we i don't i joke about being old but i think that's just like you know 
a mid thirties like thing to do, right? I don't know. I'm not. I know. Oh no, go back into there. Now, how do I? How do I hit the thing to like? How do I? God, I sound like such an old man right now. How do I do the thing with the thing, oh, man, Sonny? Just start out. How do I like gift a sub off my phone? I wanted to see what yeah, that price you is. Gotta buy tokens and stuff. What? Yeah. Kind of crap is that? Which? <laughs> All right, I'm just closing it. Whatever, I'm over this. You gotta buy like, so many tokens to buy. Is like, that an Apple stuff. thing or is that a? At least that's on my end. That's an Apple thing, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, okay, fine. No. Almost 40? No, 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 no. I'm 36. I'm not almost 40. And I'm a long way from being 37, okay? My birthday's at the end of July. All right, let's pump the brakes here. I'm not almost 40. I did have my second, uh, one of my, my second oldest brother turn 50 this year. Like, just a couple weeks ago. So that's like, you know. He called my dad and he's like, hey, you feel old? Your second son just turned 50. Your wife started saying you were almost 50 when you were 45. Well, that's rude. <laughs> I didn't even see a subscribe button fire. Maybe because I'm logged in as me. I'm not sure. There was no, like, buttons for that. <laughs> it's getting close to dinner time. <laughs> Hey, you know, there, there, there is, uh, AAR, AARP magazines in my house. Okay. They're just not addressed to me. Okay. They'd be to my father. All right. I'm not. That's jet. But it's just because I have my forever home picked out already. Okay. Does that mean I'm old? Gotta get the early bird special. Oh my goodness. We believe you. Okay. Their address to Ops Puma Plow at one Puma Plow Way under the arch. St. Louis Mo. Whatever the zip code is for St. Louis. I don't actually know. Just saying. Your girlfriend says that makes me old. Wait. That I have AARP magazines in my house that are addressed to my father? How does that make me old? In fairness, my parents had me when they were old, so. You know. Like, Pops is, uh, Pops will be 75 next year. So, yeah. Tony, we gotta throw a party, bro. Oh yeah. Next year, I gotta I gotta start talking to the family about this. I don't want to do a surprise party because I did really hard to surprise pops. But he's turning fifty five or not fifty five seventy five. We gotta have a party for that, right? Oh yeah. We didn't do anything for seventy, so we gotta have a gotta have a shindig. At least that's my opinion. So yeah. I'm thinking like we rent the the place at your church. Yeah. And just have ourselves a grand time. You're going to come play the organ for us? Uh, no. You're not supposed to go that part of the building when you rent the other part, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, little 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 birthday party entertainment. Tony on the organ. Let's go. You could figure out how to like play it, right? You just mash some keys, yeah. probably. Can't be that hard. Or something. I'll get up there and sing. You know, like, happy birthday to <laughs> my grandpa. Wait, wait, Tony. Can we get one of those big cakes and you're, like, hiding in it? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, your dad's two years older than my dad. Nice. Howdy, Chuck. Yeah, it's for church organ, yes. 
Yeah, you gotta tap your feet too, Tony. Yeah. Because you play an organ with your feet and your hands, you know. You ever watch the guy that uh, plays at Bush Stadium, Tony? I don't know if I have. So he plays for the Cardinals and the St. Louis Blues. And uh, he's got, like, an organ at his house, and he, he puts up TikToks. Huh. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Like, his reaction, like, when the Blues won the Stanley Cup, like, he's up there playing the organ and, like, screaming his head off. Like, it was pretty cool. Just saying. Just saying. Well, we're knocking this field out with three combines anyway, right? These are uh, very healthy passes over here, Tony. Just saying. Yeah, very they, healthy. They got some length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sure do. Uh, your plow's having issues, I guess, over there, huh? Yeah, I think he's stuck on a fence. Um, I think he's trying to back into a corner. I had him set on sharp. No, it's fine. It's just there's a fence right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, he is, uh, he's chilling. Thank you. Probably should remove all that fencing. Too, but. Good thing I know an editor. <laughs> well, the fencing you do through the game, but... Don't try to do any fence deleting in multiplayer. If we're going to delete fence, I'll pull the save and do it in single player. Because it actually works then. Gotcha. Yeah. And then as... I, which I'm sure I could go through the editor and delete fence too. I didn't see any fence in the editor though, so maybe... I don't know how that works. But if you need a house to disappear, Tony, I got you. I got gotcha. you. Chat, that goes for y'all, too. You know, if you, you got something on the map you need to delete, you know, nine ninety nine a minute. I got you, chat. Or wait. Nine ninety nine a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm for hire to delete stuff in forms and maps, yeah. Or just one by Suspanicopa, okay? <laughs> I tell you what, next time we're at Costco. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, we can do it for you. Right, we'll see. Then you'll have to like drop it off in your house. You know, on your way home. Sure. All right. Sounds like the deal. <laughs> Tony was at Costco yesterday, Chuck. Be there, 0313 cheered X100 999. Are you out of your mind? Yes, Bear. Bear, thanks for the bits. Appreciate him. Um, Tony was at Costco yesterday and sent me a snap, and he's like, "Is this what you want?" But I, I didn't have my phone on me yesterday for uh, well, gosh, I don't know, like an hour. It was kind of actually it was longer than that. I kind of just set my phone down in the shed and just like didn't worry about my phone yesterday. And uh, I happened to check, and by the time I sent Tony a snap back, well, they were in the checkout line, right? Yeah, we were close to it. So. Yeah, so. It's all good. Wait. Sam's carries them too? Oh, snap. I'm about to go get me some spin. Let's go. I actually need to go to Sam's soon. We're almost out of Provel cheats. And that's a tragedy. If you know, you know. We got that at Costco yesterday. No way. Either shredded or like the the like the other, like the the, the box, the really loud box when you open it, the string cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Was that the right answer? Yeah. Houses and grain silos south of the homestead on Elm Creek. I don't know how to delete stuff on Elm Creek Fire, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Just saying. When you search for cheese, it was the last item in the search. No way, Chuck. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm currently logged into that app. That's an app that I, I didn't use enough, and it always logs me out, and then I always end up having to reset the password. 
but it's tied to dad's email because, well, I don't have a Sam's account, but he does. Yeah, it wants me to sign in. Yeah. Okay, we're not messing with it right now, though. But, uh, yeah, the app is the best thing ever. You don't have to, like, go through the checkout. You just, like, scan. I always scan as we put it in the cart. And then you just skirt, skirt out the front door. And you kind of feel like you're stealing, even though you know you're not, because you're paying for it. But, like, you know, it's magic money. It's just a number on a screen, right? So <laughs> that's how that works. It's not real money. It's just magic money. Just a number on a screen. Oh, that's like every month when I get paid from Twitch. And, and this is, you know, I've been, I'm trying to toot my horn here, but I was, you know, affiliate the day they can't or like right after they came out of the affiliate pro program. And obviously I've been a partner for a while. Uh, but every time I get paid, you know, I get any, anytime there's anything on my PayPal, I get an email, right? On my phone. And I cannot tell you how many times I'm like, oh, I have an email from PayPal. I better open it up and see what's going on, you know? And, uh, you gonna run with me, Tone? Yeah, I'll run with you. Alright. I cannot tell you all how many times I'm like, wait, what did I spend money on? It's, it catches me off guard every time, and it's like, well, you received, not you paid, you know, but my brain always goes right to that dollar. I'm like, what did I spend that much money on? Wait a minute, hang on. Like, I'm not, I haven't spent money all day. What, what is this about? Every time it gets me. And like, the amount doesn't matter. It's just that I spent money, you know? Does that make sense? The whole thing. 2017, dang, Sean. So long ago. So long ago. That's all right. It was like right after they came out with the affiliate program, too. Right after. Just saying. That's true, Sean. That is true. Thank you, Tony. Yes, sir. Did you hire your guy? I did. Whoa, big H button guy, huh? Yeah. Oh. All right. Tony's being efficient today. That plow, not so much, but Tony. Tony's being efficient. You know, Tony, we need to plant a lot of corn. I'm down. With the with the seven thousand? I'm in. No, you're not. I'm in. No shot. I'm in, brother. Nah, that's John's job. <laughs> if John comes in today, I'm totally gonna be like, yeah, we need to plant some corn. <laughs> See if he leaves. I'll probably threaten to quit. And I can't say that I would blame him, you know? To be perfectly honest, I, I wouldn't. It's gone. So, uh, we were talking the other day about the earledge. Uh, Trent found a earledge header. So, silage, at least when you're chopping corn to make silage, it's the whole plant. Basically, from right off the ground, everything up gets chopped up, fermented. That's what makes silage, right? Earlidge uses a, basically uses a regular corn head, but on a forage harvester. So, in theory, you're only getting the ear and, you know, it's, it's you're obviously getting the cob because that's, you know, the ear. And you're getting some shucks, you know, off shucks. And probably a little bit of, like, plant material as well. Not not anywhere near as much as with silage. Or chopping corn to make silage to make chaff, you know. So, I actually did some testing last night. I had the earledge head. I, uh, I was harvesting with a forage harvester, but with a corn head on it. Like a regular looking corn head. And the earledge comes out of the forage harvester kind of yellow, which would make sense because it's ground up ears of corn, basically. 
And we can put that into our fermenting silo thing in our homestead. And it was making um, fermented cornmeal, which I thought was interesting. Because this other thingy over here, the other mill, will make raw cornmeal. But this makes fermented, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I don't really know what we use that for, but we, we could definitely do that. The problem is... The yield on that is so low because you're technically only chopping the ear and a little bit of the top of the plant. Because I mean, some of the top of the plant's gonna fall in the header. That's just the way it is, you know. Some of the leaves and stuff. So it's kind of interesting. Something to uh, to mess with in the future on here. We don't quite have it. I didn't put it on the server last night. But I did test it. So last night was a productive night. I feel like I got I got stuff done. I watched a movie. I'm sure we'll talk about later. Just the whole thing. All right, so Tony, you're going down and back, right? Oh, you're a guy. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably turn around up here at the top because I'm, you're not hiring them on each end of the field, are you? Like, I'll I'll turn around and get them on GPS and hire them. Wow. Look at you go. Be bear 0313 cheered dex 100. Do we have to call Tony Thab out Tony now? You know, cuz he gotta hit that H button. Uh, bear they through the bits. Uh, no, Tony's, Tony's, he's hiring, but he's running grain cart. You see, he's still working. He is still working. Hey, Tony, that tractor looks familiar. Awesome. <laughs> looks like that one I want to buy, but anyway. <laughs> On it, right? Uh, bear this in the bits. No, Tony's Tony's like he's he's tabbed out of his tractor or his combine, but you know he's still working, so it's all good. All good. How long will it take for a rented server to show up in the game? Uh, so once you get it all set up correctly, it should only take a few minutes. Yeah. Was the old mowing? Wait, which mod, Big Hoss? Which one are you talking about? Which mod? I don't know which uh, which mod you're on about there. Uh, but yeah, so when you when you rent the server first, you have to. Well, it'll it'll take a few minutes usually on the server side before you can go to like the what's called the panel. And the panel is where you can set up, like, you know, your uh, username or your game name, your password, your admin password. You can uh, select different maps and, or you upload your mods. Once you turn that on and it says, like, online at the top, it should only take a couple minutes. Whatever we reason to cut grass a few minutes ago. We haven't cut any grass today. We haven't cut any grass today. Uh, we have combines running and we have a plow over here, but, um, but with the bat link? I don't know. We haven't cut any grass today. That's why I'm confused. We do have the bat wing more. Uh, this is from the mod hub. This is what we've been using to mow with. Yeah. But we haven't used it today. Eventually, I'd like to get up to this to the swather head. Do some swathing. Eventually, but that's all in due time. All in due time. All right. So let's see. Starve is on his last pass. Tony, I'm heading south at you. So if you just want to empty that combine. And be done with it. I'll grab this row. I got room, so. We are chilling, dog. Or something like that. Yeah. And then, I guess. We'll probably fast time again. 
When do we sell that wheat? December. Okay. Uh, fast time again, and then go harvest across the road, huh? Back on the main farm, the first farm. Uh, the home home farm. Oh wait, it doesn't have a home anymore. <laughs> yeah, they say home is where the heart is, but home might be where the farm is. I don't know. A home place. I get that home place. Yeah. It's dude. It happens so much. Where it's like, oh, that used to be a homestead. Now there's just a shed there, you know. Or some random tree out in the middle of the field. Zach, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh. Play the fifth. <laughs> I just work here part time. The one that always annoyed me, and I'll I'll be honest, was behind the truck driver's house. Uh, there was just like that one field out in the or one tree out in the middle. For and I guess the stump's still there, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure, but that that one always annoyed me. And and well, most mostly pops, you know. I'm not saying our place is like purdy or nothing, you know, Zach, our farm, but yeah. like dad, dad and I have actually talked about starting like, uh, that area of our County beautification commission. Yeah. I remember hearing about this. And so like, we just like roll up to somebody's place and like cut down brush. They have grown in a fence line, <laughs> but we get like a bunch of people together and like, just go help each other out. You know, Hey, Tony, you want to grab this last bit? Yeah. Actually, you know the uh, so your family farm, but like across the road to the left, the farm that my my guys own. You know, you know I'm talking about tones. Across the road to the left. Yeah. Oh, where that shed is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's that big like brush growing out of the side of that shed. Literally, Dad almost pulled in there the other day to cut it down. I wonder if they even like. I wonder if like there's anything in the shed or just like. It. Uh, they typically store their bean heads in there. Oh, yeah? And eventually, one of these days, that water cannon will find its way there. And then, I don't know, when when the flood was coming back in 19, they pulled all kinds of gravity wagons and sp uh, fertilizer spreaders, all kinds of crap they had in that shed they pulled out and put out up on the high ground. I thought it'd be in there. Yeah. Well, that's back when they only had one, one bean head. Now they have two. So... They finally had a tractor and disc down there the other yesterday. That big four wheel driver? No, nah, just a regular tractor. They don't right. have a big disc. I guess that's not a four wheel drive, but the the big articulate. Yeah, that'd be four wheel drive. Yeah. Huh. I was thinking like four wheel drive, with like the you know, big big meaty tires. On it, but... Oh, I mean it's it's a track, it's quad, but a yeah. you know a deer. I think it'd be sick and, and be smart of them to get a big, you know, of course they're $150,000 probably or $200,000, but a big like disc to take advantage of their big uh, 9R that they have. Just saying. I guess it makes sense why they store stuff down at that little shed. Because like at, the home, at their home place, they're really, they just got that one shed. Yeah, and that's actually a shop. That's their shop. Too, and then you don't realize, but the whole back of that shed, uh huh, there's actually kind of a lean to back there. Oh, really? But they like continued the roof line out so it doesn't look like a uh, you know, it doesn't look like a lean to, but it is. Uh huh. No, bear, I get it, but but I think in, in labor and fuel costs, they would actually save money long term because they have a 9RT or 9R, uh, what is it, X? 9RX. 9RX. That literally they only have one implement for, and it gets used one time a year, and that's it. Well, they run on that. A field call there? They run a soil conditioner. And that's it. That's the only thing they have for it that they hook up to it. It's a huge. It's... Is it 50 foot? It might be a 50 foot soil conditioner. It's massive. And they pretty much work... They don't work all their ground because they plant like wheat, but like the ground they do work with it, I think they work like twice, and then that's it. And otherwise, that tractor sits in the shed. Now I heard they got a really good deal on it. Exactly, that's my point, Bear. So if they had a big disc, they could hook up to it, or even just a decent size, you know, disc, something bigger than they have now. 
um, you know, it would make sense to me to, I mean, you have the big horse, you might as well use it, you know? What's that up. like? What? Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. What's up? So, like, did they buy, did, did they buy the tractor and then buy, like, that tool or did they buy that tool and then had to buy the tractor? I believe they bought the tractor and then they're like, well, we don't know what to do with it. And then they went out and bought the <laughs> Or I think it was kind of a package deal. It was like, if you do this, I'll do that. It was uh, two of the boys that are cousins bought the tractor. Okay. And then the third one who's like... I, the way that family works, it's like you got the two old guys that farm together, right? Uh-huh. And the, but, but at the same time, the, the one older guy, his wife had a bunch of money. His wife inherited a ton of money, right? Yeah. So they bought a bunch of farmland. So you have like the two brothers that farm. And then you have kind of the one brother has a whole other farming operation, right? That's like his. Okay. Because he went out and bought, like, he bought our farm. He bought the neighbor farm. Like, he owns a bunch of land himself, him and his wife. But but him and his brother own land together, too. And then, like, between them, they have three sons. Well, the two older ones that are cousins, they started a farming operation together. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? And then the younger one, he actually worked in town at the parks department. He wasn't even farming. And then, like, all of a sudden, randomly, he quit that. And then, like, he started his own farming operation. <laughs> they all work together. But, like, when you go to their farm, it's like, well, those two own that. But this one owns that. And then these three own that. And, like, it's very confusing, to be honest. The way they have their whole thing set up so yeah yes. cause, like technically the youngest one he he rents the farm ground that used to be grandpa's from his dad so that he really? could start getting his farming operation going yeah it's a whole thing man it's a whole thing that's a little i think it's yeah a little bit different but more power to them you know yeah because then like you know the the two that are like cousins they have like a whole grain hauling thing and then they, uh, well, they just do a bunch of other stuff too. I'm not going to, you know, yeah. go into too much, but it's like they have a whole separate, it's crazy. Honestly, it's, it's the whole thing. All right. We're going to fast time a day, by the way, we're going to go to our house. That's non-existent anymore. Don't know what happened to that, but it, it sure vaporized. That's all right. All right, cool. Everybody's here. So, yeah, I think what it was is, like, the two two that are cousins were talking about this tractor, and they're like, it's really cheap. It looks pretty good. It doesn't have a ton of hours. And then, like, the one's brother was like, well, if you guys buy that, I'll go buy this soil conditioner, and, you know, we'll, we'll get it done, you know? Gotcha. Are our beans ready or no? Not appear as if they are. Wait, this isn't beans. It is beans. Oh, we still have days on bean harvest, don't we? We have one more day. Okay. So it is December. Um, beans are ready. They are slowly filling in. Uh, uh, it is good. also December. We need to sell our uh, wheat that we have as well. Uh, we will get to that. I guess we're going to harvest in the dark and in the in the snow, huh? God. Or do we go like an hour first? I go what? for an hour or two. Okay. What's up, Tony? Wouldn't mind being a little brighter out. <laughs> it's a little dark. But I also don't want accumulating snow out here in our standing suites. Well, at least you're not using course play for it. Why? Course play does not like it when it snows. Oh. I about lost a whole crop of soybeans because it snowed. <laughs> so, uh, storms remind me of easy dev controls. Uh oh. Let's turn the snow off, huh? Yeah, because of course we were saying they can't do it when it rains. Oh. And I about wasted a whole month. Um, so. I'll... This might be awkward, huh? So that's going to kill our yield, huh? No, we don't. 
do we just like ash time and hope it doesn't snow? Hope this... I guess you got a month. Yeah, a month to try. Uh, you almost have to sell your wheat. We do need to sell wheat. Yeah. We just set up and do that now. Do what does your weather thing say? Oh god, the weather thing uh says snow all day. Oh, it's gonna snow all day. Oh I got in Mar er, in January. In January oh god. Just like with my instant two or probably just gonna have to take the yield hit. Well there goes our yield. Dang it, Bobby. I think I gotta turn this auger around, Storms. It may not even require you to be hooked up, Tony. No, I think that one does. That's a good modder. Oh, you're trying to run it like that? What the heck? What? I don't know about that. Is, is it what? working? No. Okay, Tony, look out. That, that one actually needs the tractor. Yeah, drive out. Yeah, this one needs a tractor. That one's I, not weird and magical like the other one. I don't actually know which which bin has the wheat. That one. Yeah. Correct. So I, what happened was like I think one one night like, I I pulled in here and I, I hit the auger when it was sitting here. Yeah. So yeah, I just I moved. You came in a little too quick. I moved it. Yeah. Came a little, a little hot. too hot. What are your rights, Tony? Like, there you go. Oh, okay. All right. We have wheat. We got some like wheat. Proper size auger tractor. <laughs> it's a little big for that auger, but you know. No, it's got it. <laughs> I mean, Tony, it's better than like a quad track. Dude, mini quad. Mini quad. Absolutely not, Sean. I know sometimes the snow looks weird on stream with the encoder and stuff, so I would prefer if it wasn't snowing, but that's all right, I guess. I don't know if Sean saw the uh, Ricky Bobby thing I posted in Discord. He said something about it the other day, too. They're going to do some shaking and baking, that's all I know. Yeah, 14 and 41. Tony, you shouldn't have to sit in that, by the way. You mean go harvest, or? I would prefer if you'd find something to run beans on, you know? I guess if you want to harvest, you can harvest. There's a gra gravity wagon I see in the I lineup. See. We do have three trucks. Oh, God. Oh. And we're going down, like, where we sell uh, silage, too. Plus, plus there is that auger wagon. Oh, God. Is. If you want to harvest, you can harvest them. No, I'll, I'll run beans with you. I forget that these all 50,000, so whatever. It is what it is, bro. Um, Let's see, where's our road is? Well, this is a grass field, right? I'll be right back. All right. Oh, rats. Is Mariah carrying on defrost? I don't know, Jeff. Jeff, that took me way too long to get what you were on about. <laughs> uh, nah. Like that, right? I heard that song the other day, actually. It was on a TikTok or something. I was like, already? I mean, I'm down. But AZ, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Ugh. All right, so chat, these uh, trucks, by the way, may have gotten a little upgrade on the unload uh, speed, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Uh, Storms did a little bit of uh, beat boot bopping, you know, and uh, definitely helped the unload rates of those trucks quite a bit, didn't you? I know we sell silage. 
Uh, January. Is it? Yeah, it's gonna snow in January too. Dang it. Uh huh. You know, after this winter in game, I don't know how much more silage just to make money we'll be doing. Sorry, left. Maybe some because we do have these bunkers down here. But like, as far as like the bunkers up at the other farm, I don't know if they're still gonna be there. Because that's our grain farm, so we need to set up some more grain bins and more sheds. At least that's my thought. I don't know. They did fire shadow, yeah. Doing all that, all right, dealing with life. No stories. Or wait. Big facts. Something like that, yeah. I hear you, Casey. I hear you, man. They could set up your uh, corn dryer. Uh, we need to grow some corn, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to set that up in this homestead. Is it how much does it hold or like how fast does it process? It processes it pretty decently. Yeah. All I know so, it holds at least probably two or three semis. Okay. My point is do we need like a holding bin going into it or just unload right into it? Just unload right into it. Depending on what your time is. Well, probably zero. So <laughs> a holding bin. Then. Probably need a holding bin, and then unload. Uh, use an auger to put it into the dryer. Then an auger from the dryer out to another bin, right? And then probably have to have an auger out of that bin because that bin will probably fill up. Of the corn star with the augers. We'll call that the cooling bin, and then we can have just storage bins, right? I'm excited to set that all up. I think that's going to be fun. It will be fun. I think I think messing with a bunch of augers is is a good time. Like especially if we have to run like a gravity wagon, like an auger to a gravity wagon to another auger. Like I'm so here for that. Be another good thing for your Model A or. H. Yeah, the A's, the H, yeah, all that good stuff, yeah. Run augers. Oh, the 1086, sorry. We can use that for, like, the main unloading one, like you guys do. Alright, Tony, did you have something in your throat? Yeah, my, sorry. Sorry, I just had to get thrown out there. It was really in the microphone, too, like, right, right in my ears, you know? <laughs> yeah, Dad was shocked yesterday, Zach, when we passed your farm. He's like, take out your auger down. And then a minute later, he's like, they got it right up to a different bit. I'm like, yeah, they're on beans. And they can't put them at the other place yet because it's a little occupied -o. you know? <laughs> we, I think there's, we're using that small bin down the road at another farm. Yeah. yeah. At least one there at the home place. And then... Well, I assumed you put, they probably filled the holding bin first. Right? Don't they fill that with beans? I think so. Yeah. Well, the auger's already there. You might as well, you know. And then they had it up to a, like a little one to the left of the holding bin. Uh, are you gonna be able to unload in here? No. Okay. I'll. Uh, I got you. I think they actually. You guys will have what's left, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, thirty thousand left right now. So, Tony, without you, we uh, we would have made it. I'm glad I participated. Hey, you helped, Tony. You did one load, Tony. Good job. Pain. Still, ma it's still help. Still moving the bushels. The bushels. The bushels. Speaking of bushels, have you watched Browns lately? Yeah. I just, I don't know, man. You know, they go to the field and like, oh, we got to replace the whole section, the whole sickle. Every section had to be replaced. Oh, like, man. Did they not do any? I, I really hope when they get this shed, their their shop going, like, maintenance gets better for them, but I, whatever. I don't know. It really sucks they lost their hired guy, too. I kind of wonder what the uh, story is there, you know? 
I did like I watched like, I kind of like I think I browsed that video and like it was at the end he was like oh yeah here's some cliff notes like it yeah. might have seemed like everything was okay but it wasn't like we lost power yeah. lost our hired guy yeah it was like a domino effect a mine broke like oh man you just got everything going wrong for you yeah and then they got a uh, like his father and all help. yeah now uh uncle I his know. wife's uncle, uncle. yeah. Yeah, I thought it was... Uncle-in-law? Hey, hey, sure. I don't know what you call that person. Old, that old Terry to help. <laughs> old Terry. His name's Jeff, isn't it? Yeah, Jeff. He used to work at a, a Kenworth plant. It, that, okay, Jeff, I'm glad you said it. I, you know, I really like Brian. I think Brian, I've never met the guy, but I feel like he's a swell guy. Uh, it, it's the same thing with Bob and BJ. I think they're oh, yeah. nice... I think they're really oh, nice, nice guys. They're just normal farmers that, you know, make some YouTube videos. But it's everything is so last minute with them. It's like, what are you guys doing? Uncle in law. All right. Brian and Brian. Brian's they nice. all three seem pretty, pretty relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping when they get the shed, like maybe that'll kind of, you know, help because they can actually do like winter maintenance because they have a place where they can do that you know i don't know but i mean they do have a lot of stuff going on between the shop and the house and the whole grain dryer situation i know half of that's not their fault but like maybe if you knew that you were doing the grain dryer swap you could have like over the summer like gone ahead and swapped the the quote old one to the other facility like over the summer when you didn't like need it, you know. Chat, this is where I, why I wear diapers when I stream. I should. L3 FT 4D3 at Jadex 100. I now know what roosters scream when they first wake up after dealing with that headache. Dealing with that. Left, I'm lost on that one. Dealing on the phone, maybe? Why do roosters have a headache? I think that's the question. No, the question I said, I now know why roosters scream when they first wake up. Uh huh. Dealing with headaches. I just want to scream at the moment, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was lost. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Don't scream. I'm going yep. back to your dryer thing. Don't worry. We also be. didn't have uh, trans transport wheels for it either. Well, true, but you know a bunch of farmers, right? Somebody's got a set of them things laying around, right? I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Bear, thanks for the bits. Yeah, Jeff, I was a little confused by that, too. They're like, well, we had to make the pantry and the and the laundry room smaller so the bathroom could be bigger. bigger. Oh, huh? their house? Yeah. Yeah. I... Shouldn't you already have plans that are grown up and, like, I don't know. I do like he's putting a, uh, a gun safe in the basement, though. Or, like, a, a vault room. I think that's pretty cool. It's, like, underneath his front porch or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be pretty cool. You, I don't know if he'll show it too much, but it'll, it'll be pretty cool. A little YouTuber room up there is pretty. Oh, nice. that's that's gonna be so nice to have. I like what he said. He's like, "Yeah, this is where Dax and I are gonna shoot our deer this year." <laughs> like from the second story of your house. Oh, did you see it? There was like a, a wall and then another section to that. Yeah, there's a little bonus room on the other side there. Yeah, or probably I just what like they're gonna make into that. I don't know if anything, just closet storage maybe, or like attic storage. I don't know. Like I said, I like I like Brian. Don't don't take this as me like ragging on him. I I think they're awesome and I really enjoy the channel and stuff. You know, I really enjoy Bob Cam. <laughs> although <laughs> although no no no, the other day they gave Bob the micro he gave Bob the microphone. You could actually understand him then. Oh yeah, because he had yeah. a new microphone and a new camera and everything. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. All right, so chat, I know that the snow doesn't look good on stream, but uh, unfortunately, it's going to snow all day December and all January for us here. So we have no choice but to go ahead and 
knock out the bushels here and we're gonna get hit on yield because it's snowing again we don't really have an option so maybe we don't plant like later uh into the planting season on beans huh or we just put easy dead tools on that sounds like cheating don't we have but one it's, here it's kind of necessary no though. we don't have easy devs on here or do we yeah, that's when storms uh, uh -huh. remind me easy I, controls what's the one where like you t isn't that the screenshot button yeah we uh, don't we don't have it wait we do have it on here no we don't do we because i try to take a screenshot and it brings up like the the, the thing uh to me i think f10 regular well i guess the snow is about to yeah. disappear huh snow is always beautiful well because yeah it was snowing for me and then it actually physically put a layer of snow down and i had a yeah this ain't you do have easy. Go ahead, Starns. Make it disappear. Uh, I don't have the ability to set the weather. Why? Come on, John. I don't know. Are you logged in as an admin? Yeah. Then why don't you have the ability to... If he doesn't have it, Trent, I won't have it. He should be able to. Can you not do it on a server? I thought I took easy dev tools out too. Dang it. This whole time. I didn't know. I know we had them for, uh, you know, no man's land. All right, Trent, where's it? Where's that? It is under, uh, see the little sunrise uh -huh. waves. Yep. Top right. Top right. Flat. Just like turn that off. All right. All right. You see that remove snow. I can't click that. Remove snow. I can't. Down. I can't. Down. Tap. I can't Press do it. Update from server, please wait. Yeah. Does that mean we just have to wait? <laughs> like. Yeah, should I? Hurt. Hey, right yeah, where it's where is that? Set, set weather. Yeah, set yeah. weather. It's grayed out for you. Maybe you can't do it. Oh no. Oh. Um. I, I have the fix for this. <laughs> were those farmers that were harvesting beans in the snow? <laughs> well, that's what happened, John, when you click add snow. No, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> Ground's frozen. We're on the clip. Uh, oh, no. Now okay, you actually click the remove snow button, John. It doesn't I work. Just did. yeah, it's it's just waiting on the, the server. It says it's waiting on the server, Trent. We'll just give it time and it'll, it'll remove it, just like it added it for you, like oh, you no. told it to. Oh. Really expensive snowblowers. Oh, oh, by golly, George, that does work. <laughs> yeah, I told you I hit the button. I hit it too, don't worry. So, but we can't stop the snow. Nope. We can just remove it. Texas, don't worry about it. It's fine. We got rid of it. Oh, no. We can harvest carton in the snow. I've seen people do that. Millennial Farmer's done that before. Yeah, you just gotta quit whenever you're... before your sieves are pugged. Yeah, well, like... What if it's, our, like, it snowed yesterday, but there's still snow, you know? That'd be fine. As long as there's not too much snow on the plant. You know what I mean? I guess I haven't done it. I mean, I haven't either. I've just, I've seen it on the internet. Tony, you got your uh, GPS rocking? I do. I can tell by the way it is. Well, do you want to... Let me just snitch right in here, okay? Alright. I should have withered. Nah, we're fine, Tony. Or, uh, Sean, sorry. You with the name. I just... Yeah. Mm, apparently not. We can't. Yeah, I don't know. 
that's interesting that you can just like poof there's snow poof there's no snow i've never used the easy dev tools that's the first thing i've ever done is added snow to a map apparently <laughs> oopsie tried to teach you when we were on no man's but I, I didn't want to learn no somebody wants to be stubborn i feel like easy dev tools are like that mod that like once you start using it it's just a rabbit hole after that you know it can be but that's why Depends you on how you use it yeah all right i want to empty anyway left all right Fuck. wait when they like just turn in the field randomly so get a little empty here and then I'll do my thing. Or, or I'm too far away. Hello? Alright. Come on. That's good. Alright. I choose you. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter with these combines on soybeans. We're fine. There's no yield here, so... Happens when you harvest in the snow. <laughs> Wait, did you say snow? Hold on. Wait for it. This is how we crash servers, chat. This is how. This is why we can't have nice things. Exactly. Like a 9RT. Grumpy, what's up? How's, how's it going? Oh, speaking of that, did a uh, stream almost ever come through? They do what? They refresh your stream elements. No. Do I need to? Nice. Bro, I still haven't even gotten an email from it. I don't think it worked. I don't know. Well, it said it went through. Let me uh, let me check my emails. I don't know. Oh, it's weird. It's, it said it went through, but I never got an email for confirmation. It didn't, like, charge you, right? Uh-uh. But it went through. Weird. The last thing I have is from the 27th from PayPal. That's yesterday. Or... At 8.30 this morning, but that was my uh, Amazon. I might have ordered something. Suffering Doctor. through training. Ugh. Sorry, Grumpy. <laughs> it, this might be really bougie of me, but, like, I don't really care. Okay? So, yesterday, Dad and I are working on the tractor, and we were doing some uh, wiring. So, you know, the tractor doesn't have a lot of wiring, but it has a little bit, right? And we have this set that my brother got us. It's it's marine grade uh, shrink wrap. So it's basically you put shrink wrap over your wire and when you when you shrink it, it also has a glue that melts on the inside. So it, not only is it like regular shrink wrap, but it, it it glues itself and it really helps like hold joints together and stuff. Like if you put a spade connector on there, you put that on there, it helps hold the spade connector on or whatever. It's awesome stuff. We love it. It's great. Well, we ran out of the one size that we always use all the time because this was a, an assorted set that had like pre-cut little pieces and we ran out and, and we've been out for a while, so... Uh, we had to use some bigger ones yesterday, which is fine because the stuff the stuff shrinks up from like a it's like a three to one ratio on how much it'll shrink. You know, it's pretty cool. And uh, so I get like we're wiring and and we have this, you know, you use it. We use a heat gun on it instead of like a lighter because you don't want to burn it. You just want to you know heat it up to melt it, right? You know what I mean? And. Uh, so, for a long time, I've been looking at this DeWalt cordless uh, heat gun. Which I know sounds like the booziest thing ever. Like, totally unnecessary to have a cordless heat gun. But in fairness, we have a Harbor Freight heat gun at the farm that kind of works. And, like, it's always coming unplugged when you're trying to use it. It's just, I don't know. It's not a, it's not, not quality, you know? So, I might have purchased a DeWalt cordless 
heat gun yesterday. <laughs> 